Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. We're here at Heartland Forest. This is the last of our nine um, Purple Heart Project workshops. We've been doing it here for two years and we're moving it back to New Brunswick. I'm here today with Charlie Chow, who is one of our um, civilians that we need to come each time, who come as paying students, and because they do that, we're able to host these workshops and bring in six or seven combat wounded veterans that we actually host. So when I first started this, I thought, well, you know, we need the civilians to come because I can't afford to pay for all the facilities myself. Uh, and then I realized, you know, I'm doing this because I met one of these guys and I just felt I needed to do something to help. And I thought, if I bring the civilians in, maybe some of them will feel the same way. And then, uh, I started to realize after we started doing this that having the civilians there and having them interact with these combat wounded veterans, many of whom suffer PTSD or suffer from, that the civilians would actually be part of the therapy for them. It's amazing how it's worked. So they are an integral part of the success of our program. Charlie, you've been here for five days. Mm -hmm. Short days, long days? Really long days. <laughs> we start at eight. We actually are in the shop at 8 in the morning and we're usually there until 11 o'clock at night. And we do that for five days and Friday's no exception, not getting up early tonight because we have lots of work to do. So I want you to tell, uh, tell them what you got out of it. How was it? Based on what you thought, coming into it, and what and how at the end, how was it? Well, before I came in, um, I didn't know, really know what to expect except that I know I want to learn about hand tools, improve my woodworking skill. And also at the same time, it's uh, one way for me to uh, contribute to the society for the cause. And Rob, you're doing a great thing. And, and so that's, that's at the beginning. And throughout the week, and I really learned to appreciate uh, fine woodworking and pick up the skill, uh, learn to respect what a great um, tools that, that, that Rob's is uh, showing us how to use and stuff. So, yeah, now I'm really surprised what I can pick up in one week, one short week. Okay. How many is this? This is my third one. You never cut a dovetail before you came? Never, not in my life. So, this is the third one since you've been here. Yep. This is walnut and pine. That's the tail side. That's the pin side. You get a good close up? Okay. And by the way, Charlie, that's awesome. I mean, Thank you. Really fantastic. Yeah, it's very satisfying. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Go ahead and finish. No worries. Um, so this is my favorite tool, uh, the plane, number five, five and a half plane. And what I like about it is that it gives me glass smooth finish on my board. And before this, I always have to sand, sand, and sand, and I'll start out after sanding, it'll cover in dust. <laughs> and now I don't even have to sand. Ready to apply stain or whatever finish I want. Awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, I need you to help me. We need to find civilians who are willing to come to this program mm -hmm. every time we do it. We mm -hmm. plan to do our next two are scheduled for May of 2019. Mm -hmm. So trigger them. Tell them why they should sign up and be part of this, please. Well, first of all, if you are don't know what to do, if you if you really want to give back to the society, don't know what to do, and even if you don't know anything about woodworking or very little skill, just sign up. You know, <laughs> just sign up, no matter what. You will get a lot of this course. And if you really want to improve in your woodworking skill, Rob is a great guy. This program is great. Everybody's really super friendly here and very helpful. You will meet friends you never expect to meet and these friends will stay with you for the rest of your life. That's what I do, just sign up. That's it. You heard Charlie. RobCosman.com. All the information is on there, more details than you can handle. There's lots of YouTube videos like this that talk about it. And, then, and uh, quickly on Monday we learn to sharpen. On Tuesday, we learned to cut dovetails. On Wednesday, we learned to dimension lumber. What Charlie didn't mention was these two pieces, there's a third one that he has yet to do tonight, they uh, all start from rough stock. So these guys go in there and they learn how to make it flat, 
smooth and square on all six surfaces, and then cut dovetails in them. By the way, how was the flattening process? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, actually it was a lot easier than I thought after I go through the initial hurdle. Right. But the first one was the toughest. Yeah, it was. I know. I remember watching <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when, uh, so Wednesday we dimension the lumber. Thursday we're make, we make a little project so we have something to take home. It's a, a bench hook, something that you use on your bench to cross cut pieces. And this is the sacrificial piece so that you don't cut into your bench. And then we work, uh, usually that carries forward till uh, Saturday. And then, uh, I'm sorry, Friday morning and Friday afternoon we, uh, we do mortise and tenon work. And there's a lot of other stuff thrown in the mi middle of that. It all makes it work. Great, great meals, good food. Oh yeah, it's, it's, I never tasted food as so, I don't know what to say, it's so ho home, it's like home cooking. Yeah. You know? People, it's not just the food, it's the environment, the staff, the friendly, the, the what can you get more than in the middle of the forest here? It's yeah. the nature. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a very relaxing environment. We're sitting in this little pioneer cabin that they built for a project last yeah. year. It's on part of the property and it's just, it kind of sums it up. You're sitting here and you feel really comfortable at home. Yeah. There's no uh, TV, there's no electricity. Yeah. Well, there is in the shop, but I mean where we're sitting right here. Anyway, it's awesome. You have an enjoyable week, I promise you. And Charlie, I appreciate you being here. And thank well, you. Thank you for contributing. Thank you. Just thank you for being part of it. It's been awesome. Everybody's Joe. Thank you. We'll do it again. For sure. See ya. <laughs> Thanks.